pump it into it. Wow, this is cool. I don't know why it's beeping. You know what? I might have to put another one in. Nothing spilling right now, so that's good. There you go. I made a little bit of a mess because it's my first time. My own fault, I think. But yeah, nothing spilling out. I see a little bit right here. Nothing on the bottom. Maybe definitely put too much in that, but it's okay. It's actually tell you that you can cut off. Next time I won't put as much. Oh no, maybe I should have stayed with one spoon because look at that. It is popping out too much. Well, again, my fault. I thought it wasn't gonna be full enough, but looks like it's way more than full. So, because I guess it's lifting, expanding when it gets hot. So that's why I shouldn't have put two in there. Oh well, we're learning, so don't do the same mistake I'm doing. But so far, I love this waffle maker. Look how cool it is. It stands vertical, you pull it in. Obviously, don't put too much or you're gonna end that up with the same problem that I am. But it's okay, second one probably will be a lot better. But the most important, it's not coming out from the sides. That's what I was worried about. Let's try to do this one more time, but this time I will ju just do one cup. Okay, it's beeping. I guess it means it's done. So, okay, now it says it's cooked. Let's open this. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Wow, perfect waffle. Oh my gosh, what an awesome gadget. Definitely don't overfill it though. You can get a knife and cut that off. Obviously, mine has way too much waste, but the rest, look at that. That is perfect waffle. Not soft, holds really, really well. And obviously, it's still cooking, so take it off quickly, but that looks like a perfect color to me. Let's do another one. Okay, if you put it on one, it lets you know it's ready to be put in again because it's preheated. Try not to make the mess this time. Looks good, but this time I'm all pulling just a little bit. Expecting for it to expand. I'm not going to pull it as much. Whoop! There you go. As soon as I see it starting to come up, I need to stop. But again, I might have overfilled it again. We'll see. Okay, this time we're cooking it at 5. Let's see how well, how brown it's going to get. The best part about this waffle maker, it's starting to beep when it's done. Look at that, that's nice. Okay, I can cut this off. This is the softer part, but comes out pretty easily anyway. And then this waffle is easy to lift off. And look at that, at five is pretty nice too. It's much more brown, but again, if you like it more crispy, you might want to put it on five. Once it cools off, it will be even more crispy. Very, very unique waffle maker. Have you ever seen anything like that? Thumbs up for me. Next unique waffle maker, it pulls from this side, but it's not vertical. But also it makes this waffle like a little bowl. Not a lot of a bowl, but let's see how it works. Looks like for easy storage, the cup goes into here. Then I guess I'm going to put this thing in and we're going to preheat it. Okay, didn't beep at me or anything, but I can see it's a blue light now. Now I'm gonna grab the measuring scoop that it came with and which is cool, you can put it on a bowl and that way it hangs. You don't have to worry about how to hold it. So I'm gonna scoop it up a full amount. Try not to spill much and I'm just gonna do one scoop this time. I'm not going to play games and try to put too much. Maybe I'm just going to add on very, very tiny bit. There you go. That's it. I wonder how do I take this out? Oh yeah, you know what? I got to turn it and I move it first. Boom. Look at that waffle. That looks delicious. Oh, it's kind of still soft. Actually, no, it looks good, looks good for sure. And look, you have 
mini bowl out here. If you put like butter in here or syrup or honey, it's all going to drip to the middle a little bit. That's kind of cool. Or if you want to put it like that and spread the syrup down here or it's going to spread everywhere. What a great idea. Let's actually try that. Okay, let's put syrup on top of it and look at that. It spreads everywhere because it's elevated in the middle. It's easy to actually spread the syrup. I like it. And it looks like to remove this one, you have this little fork. This how you remove it. Just push it in. Boom, done. You know what, I love this waffle maker because it's easy to pour without too much of a mess and that way you don't have to spread it all over, it's super easy to use. But the vertical waffle maker actually beeped and let me know when should I stop. So the other one kind of wins a little bit more. For the next waffle maker I have waffle bowl maker. Let's see how it works. And that looks like an awesome idea. Put some ice cream in there, put some eggs, fruit, many, many ways to use waffle bowl. Okay, plug it in, preheating. Um, this one don't have this convenient measuring scoop. You kind of have to guess. I'm sure it's in the description how much you're supposed to put. So I just looked it up, hot tea. Ow, hot, ow. So I just looked it up how to use it. There is a fill line over there. There is in the description, very easy to find. So that's what I'm gonna do. To the fill line, I'm watching it. Boom. This time, it's kinda easier actually. And then I wanna squeeze it till it's popped. I think it's popped. And now we wait four minutes and we're gonna open it, see what it looks like. Okay, let's open it up. Whoa, look at that. That is nice. This was in there four minutes, could have been even longer, but that looks delicious, look at that. And you can put ice cream or whatever. You know what, let's try to pour it in there one more time. Let's see how consistent it is. Because this is so far the least mess I done. And at the same time, a cooked perfect bowl. Alexa, set timers for four minutes. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, let's try to put an ice cream in there. I love this gadget. You know how ice cream gets stuck? All I have to do is just press it like that and it falls out. This ice cream is just kind of too frozen. Okay, there you go. Very cool waffle bowl. Of course, you can put fruit in there, different kind of toppings, maybe egg, chicken, whatever you like to eat with the waffle. What an awesome idea. Okay, let's check out how it's doing. Boom, very nice. Another four minutes. Looks good. Okay, once again, let's try to take it out. Boom, look at that. Nice and brown, looks good. Let's tear it apart, see what it looks like. Nice, looks cooked. Looks cooked all the way to the bottom. Love it. And of course, if you want it to be more brown, all you have to do is just cook it longer. For the next gadget, I got here edible spoon maker. This thing is actually calling for dough, but you know what, we're gonna try to use it and hopefully waffle dough will work as well. Obviously, we're going to preheat it, right now it's on red, it will turn green, and then we'll put some dough in. Okay, it's green, let's open it up. Because I really thought when I was buying it, it was gonna be a waffle maker, not a dough maker. So hopefully it will work anyways. Just a little bit, then we'll close it, it will spill out a little bit, but I'm not too worried. Okay, it's been four minutes. Ooh, wow, you know what? They said you have to have your different dough, but actually works so well with my dough. Look how well it popped out. And I used the dough they didn't even recommend. So I used the waffle dough and it works so well. Look at the spoons, that's beautiful. 
and I didn't use any kind of vegetable oil. It says do not use vegetable oil, but this is what it's going to look like. Maybe this one will be the thumbnail. Let's do it one more time. I just put it in a little bit at a time, let it spread out. And I went to the tail, just like this. Hopefully I don't pull too much. Don't get excited. This might be too much, but oh well. Let's see what happens if you do too much. Alexa, set alarm for four minutes. And guess what? They're pretty crispy, but on the side, it's cooked all the way. Very nice. Now you can eat a spoon. All right, let's open it up. Whoop, they all stuck to the top, but it's okay. Whoa, where's the water coming from? Oh, you know what, from the fork, I think. Look at that. They all dropped off so easily, and guess what? This time, I actually didn't overfill it at all. Look at the spoons, beautiful. Use your imagination what you can garnish it with, and this is an amazing presentation for sure.